Well, hey guys, welcome to the party. Can you hear me a little bit better now? What do you think about this? So here's what's going on today. Today I got a frame in, or I got actually on the Saturday or Friday or Saturday, I think I got the frame in for it. And then what happened is, I'm sorry, I'm trying to back out of my garage and not hit any of my cars. As you know, 5% limo tent is not the easiest to back out with without hitting everything under the sun. All right, I've cleared the prelude. I don't know if you can see it in my, uh, I know you won't be able to see it. I'm trying not to hit the prelude, not hit the bush over here, but yeah. So anyways, today, uh, the three by five connector came in as well as what's it called? Um, the, this new mic I have, it's the Edigy, uh, ETM 008 mic. If you guys want to look that up, if you guys are looking into, uh, using a mic, but, uh, hopefully this should allow you to hear me a lot better. And, uh, hopefully it is working good because I know with this, uh, this car, the exhaust is pretty loud in it, so I'm just leaving it all like quiet right now. Now I know it's at night, and uh, but I just wanted to let you guys see that, uh, hey, look what came in. So basically what it has is, it has have the frame on it, which has the side open side on the side. I don't know if you can see my hand or whatever, but what that allows you to do, of course, is be able to plug in the three by five adapter and then apply a, a plug in a mic into that. Because what it comes with the, the, um, the housing is, it doesn't give you that ability to have it, so. I had to buy a frame which had the hole in the side and then I had to buy the a connector and the connector I bought off eBay was actually a pile of junk and it didn't work when I got here today. It was a little five dollar garbage thing so I had to go out to Best Buy and buy an original GoPro version for $19.99 of the adapter and then the mic immediately worked just like that. I tested it out. I was like garbage so I already contacted them I said just refund me my money because uh, your product doesn't work at all for me and you know it's just if, if they want to argue I'll just leave them negative feedback and you know just dump it but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt being like hey can you just give me my money back because it's just not worth uh, worrying about it anyways and then I got the ETA energy mic I'll show all this stuff to you later if you guys are interested and I'll put it back down in the bottom of the comments below but I figured right now I take it for a test right now and show you but the mic alone was sixty seven dollars but I looked up a lot of videos on YouTube and you can actually see it if you type in like GoPro Hero 3 mics or whatever you want to do. Uh, it just comes up as one of the best ones, like third one and a guy does all his vlogs for me. He's a, a, a journalist and a lot of, it's really highly recommended by a lot of journalists this mic is. So I knew it was going to be good. That's why I spent the money because, you know, I plan on using it a lot more. And uh, with me looking to buying a motorcycle in the next couple weeks, I want to be able to have something that's going to work good you know and then I don't have any problems so basically what it does is I have the camera back stuck to the back of the wind you know the deck or whatever back deck and then the cable runs up underneath the strut bar to kind of like fence it towards me and then the wire comes up underneath here by the side of my seat and then clip it up and I don't know if you can see it in the other camera because I know it's dark right now but I have it clipped to my seat belt I don't know if can you see that guys see that's clipped to my seat belt and that's basically how I have it run right now so what we're going to do is we're going to take it out on the road, even though it's dark, we're just doing a test. So basically this video is just to tell you what I got and then uh, to test it out and see. So I'll put up the, I'll drive with the windows down, I'll drive with the windows up and see what's going on. Oh, there's a security guard. Security guard, like, whatchamacallit, is always sitting out there. Sometimes I come flying in and the security guy will flash his lights at me. I don't pay him any attention at all, you know, because they're just security. So yeah, I hope this is working out really good for you because the mic is situated about, I don't know, three or four inches underneath my uh, chin, right on the seatbelt. So it's not getting in my way, it's not like hung up on anything because it's connected to the seatbelt and it seems, seems to be working pretty stinking good. Look at this, and there's nobody out here today. What a good day. Ooh, listen to that sound. I just want to cruise with it and hear the exhaust. Listen to that. Love this car, man. It's so much fun. There's a giant sweeping turn here. I am not trying to go out into the woods over there. But yeah, this should give us a really good test because now the windows are down, the exhaust is pumping, and I was doing about, I don't know, 50, let's just say 50 miles an hour through there. And yes, yeah, so this is going to give us a really good sound test today. So you guys are going to have to tell me what you think about it. And then on, when I get down here, I'm going to pop the windows up and then we'll see what goes on. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to make a giant box. I'm going to go down here on this road and then I'm going to get on to US 192 
which runs all the way through Kissimmee, Florida, all the way from Disney side all the way down to like, goes down to Melbourne and stuff, and then all the way down South Florida. So what I'll do is then I'll put the windows up and drive with the windows up and we'll see. Obviously, you're probably gonna hear me a lot better with the windows up, but you know, we have to test out both things. I want you to be able to hear me one way or another. And I'm also thinking about eventually, you know, we're talking probably a little bit down the road if this really starts to take off. I'll buy a second GoPro and put it on outside of my car and have you guys see me when I drive in a windowed in window option in the bottom corner, let's say, or the top right, and I'll have the full outside video as the main picture. So that way you can see both the inside and me playing around while I'm driving, just talking to you. And then at the same time, you're gonna see um, the whole driving experience from outside the car unhindered. I'm really thinking about getting that black edition because the black edition now can record at 30 frames per second at 4K. So that's that's pretty stinking good, man. I was like, mm, I went and looked at that today when I was Best Buy, but I was like, oh, when I saw the price, it was like $500. I got this Black Edition Hero 3 last year at Z Days up there in uh, the Tail of the Dragon, North Carolina. And I only uh, ended up paying, I think it was uh, 360 from one of the, um, uh, I don't know, the car shops that come out there, you know, where it just does exhausts and all that stuff. They sell it all. And they're out of, based out of Kentucky. And uh, the guy was selling it all. It's called Dynasty. And uh, he had it with the, uh, the 32 megabit uh, SanDisk card and with the uh, black edition was only uh, 380 something or four right at just under four hundred dollars for both of them and because I didn't have to pay tax it was like cha-ching you know and so I think I made out like a bandit because they were only and they said well if you want to get the sound card SD card right now for using it while your Z days it's only thirty dollars more and back then the 32 gigabyte SD card was 60 bucks and I was like oh my god I can't pass it up so I went ahead and uh, swiped the credit card and bought it immediately right then all right then we're about to turn over here the East Lake Toho is right on the other side over here behind these houses you hear the planes flying over typical right so we're just gonna go out in here Woo! what the hell do I have in my back oh I've got gummy bears back there I was wondering what the hell that was all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put up the windows now and let's see if it makes any difference all right, the windows are up now. I'm just gonna start cruising. Let me turn the AC on because it's a little warm in here. Um, let's see what it is outside right now. It's outside 74 degrees. Um, it's been really cool and off here in the evening. It's not, I know 74 for you guys, is, a lot of y'all is like, oh, it's hot, it's warm. Um, yeah, in Florida, yeah, that's not warm. 74 degrees is cool. All right, it's like cooling off. It's just right, you know, sweet spot. Because, you know, during the days, even now, we're at the end of October, and it's 80-something degrees, so, eh. So hopefully this is sounding a lot better for you guys than it was, obviously, before when you can barely hear me. And uh, I don't have to keep turning around and talking to the mic. But these are some of the things I'm gonna do, and I really wanted to get, I really had a video, actually had three long videos of vlogging that I was gonna cut and chop today. But what happened is when I went and actually heard it, the video, you know, I was trying it out, I couldn't even hear myself. It was just like before. And come to find out that that stupid, uh, the connector that plugged the USB to uh, mic connector that you buy, that I bought off eBay was absolute junk. It didn't even work. And I'm like, oh my God. So you couldn't hear me still. So I was like, screw it. So tonight we went out to downtown Disney uh, with some of my wife's doctor friends that were visiting from Georgia where she did her medical training at. And um, so I stopped at Best Buy on the way and just got one of the original brand, you know, versions of it and bought that, connected it in, boom, worked like a charm. So we're out here basically testing it right now and uh, showing you everything. We just went over the Florida Turnpike in case you guys uh, ever wondered where I'm at, because there's a sheriff's office right here where the actual headquarters is for Osceola County. That's the county that Kissimmee, Florida and St. Cloud is in and all. It's a giant county in Florida, but it's kind of, most of it's country. There's nothing out there. So, now we're, this is 192, the, the light right here is US 192. If I go down, take a left right here, and I go down about another mile and a half, I'll be in St. Cloud, Florida. So, um, what I'm doing now is, I am going to, uh, if this guy's actually going or not, I can't tell if he's going. Yeah, he's, he's parking there. That's only going off because of um, uh, Walgreens or whatever, CVS is right here. You know, they always set off my stuff. 
But yeah, so now this way heads you back into Kissimmee, Florida. If you stayed on this road about another, I think it's 10 to 15 miles max, you'll be where the Disney World uh, exit is. You know, not exit, but you get where I'm saying, where it says to Disney World, and you get on the main thing, and it says welcome to Disney and all that stuff. So just to give you an idea of where you're at while I'm doing the driving today, you can see the turnpike entrance is right here, a quarter of a mile. So this is where you get on the turnpike or off. This is where I get off at night on the way home. So yeah, hopefully everything's cool. Uh, I appreciate you guys giving me a lot of ideas because there is so many ideas that you wanted me to try and talk about. But I'm not gonna do it while we're at night because I know you don't get to see very much at night. You probably get seeing right now you're probably seeing lights like what the hell is this? What the hell is that? And I get that. I and I and totally understand that. If I had a camera outside the car, it wouldn't be a big deal, but the fact is there's no camera. Look at that gas is 303 a gallon here. I can't tell you when the last time it was 303 a gallon. It's probably been a couple years. Eh, maybe a year or two, yeah. I remember when I was a kid in uh, high school, back in the 90s, they had that big, um, I guess it was gas glut where they had too much oil out there. And uh, it was probably about 98, 99. I could fill up, I had a Chevy Beretta, 1993 Chevy Beretta. And I could fill up that car for $12. Fully fill it up between 10 and $12. And it was a 14 gallon tank. Because the gas, I was paying about 79 cents a gallon. If that tells you anything, that's how far it's turned. It's like, oh man. So us to see that again is nice. I passed some gas stations earlier that were uh, 297, 296. And I heard Sam's Club is 288 over there in Orange Blossom Trail. We call it OBT down here. So if you ever hear people talking about like Orlando area and they say, and you know, you come down here and somebody says OBT to you, that's Orange Blossom Trail. It's just a shortened version of it. So there's the county jail to my left. You probably can't see it. The right side is the tech technical school for like, you know, Votech school. and that kind of thing to learn trades and whatnot for high school kids and then over here is the county jail to my left so but you really can't probably see that right now but um yeah that's where you go if you screw around here before i guess you go to like state penitentiary or anything like that you know but uh yeah all i'm doing is just a giant square here we're testing it out and rocking and rolling so tell me what you guys think about how everything's going um i don't mean to be rambling on or anything i might cut some of this out i might not i just I really want to get a good feel for how well the mic is working. As a matter of fact, I might move the mic a little higher here in a second and see if that works any better. But I think right now, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see my hands. Yeah, there you go. The mic is only that far from uh, my chin. So what is that, two inches from my chin? So that's not bad at all. My radar is probably going to go off here in a second, just letting you guys know. Uh, if I was to take this road all the way, no, uh, just keep going on this road, it merges in with another road up the way and it takes you right into the back gate, the southern entrance of the airport. So, see, I told you it was gonna go off. So basically, we're not very far. I think we're, I can get to the airport here from my house in about 20 minutes in Orlando International Airport. So we're in a really good spot. Because if you go up that road, like I said, right where it merges, as soon as you merge, it says, you know, you're in Orange County, welcome to Orlando. So, and that's only a 10 minute ride up the road at max. So it's not too bad. But yeah, we're doing the big box again. We're heading right back down to my neighborhood. Uh, what I'll do here is uh, as soon as it opens up here where there's nobody around, I'll floor it up a little bit and gun it. So hopefully the exhaust isn't too loud for you guys. And uh, we'll see here and uh, see if you can still hear me talking. Basically, that's what this came down to is just a big uh, sound test, okay? You can see there's still cars in the road. I'm not trying to be an idiot or trying to hurt anybody or hurt myself, so I'm just waiting for it to open up a little bit. So I'm just cruising down the road. Softball is huge here. Oh my God, softball fields are everywhere. These people come from like all Latin America or down here. It's like, it's all foreigners in Kissimmee. And uh, yeah, they all like just play softball nonstop. It's like the thing to do here because it's a heavy Puerto Rican population in Kissimmee. So all you guys from New York and New Jersey, uh, this you, this is your second home. Everybody here is from New York and New Jersey, so. All right, wait for these two cars to pass and I'll get on in a little bit because then my neighborhood's right up on the left. Kick it down to fourth. All right. Bad thing is there's cars right behind me, which is not a good thing. Yeah, feel that's breaking. When I shift down, it breaks for me. 
You gotta love that. A lot of you guys don't know about stick shifts and stuff like that. Oh, I, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I take my, I, I signed up today for my um, motorcycle safety class. So I'm gonna make a whole nother video about all that stuff. And I will let you hear what I'm doing. I think I found a bike that I'm kind of interested in. It's right at two grand, this is a little starter bike. So I will tell you all about that tomorrow during the sunlight where you can actually see stuff. But uh, yeah, everything worked out pretty good. So I will go ahead and say see you sayonara and uh, we'll start uploading this and see how it turned out. So thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, get a lot more of these vlogs out for you soon. Take care.